So what is cavitation? Cavitation offers immense potential for intensification of physical or chemical processes in energy efficient manner. Cavitation basically a procedure hota hai jis mein cavities ki bubbles ki formation hoti hai with the passage of time they grow and a certain time they will collapse when they become unstable in their size and this collapse will cause the generation of large amount of energy in short span of time. So this cavitation generates the condition of high temperature and pressures on collapse temperature in the range of 500 to 15000 Kelvin and pressure in the range of 100 to 5 in atmosphere locally and very high energy densities of order 1 to 10 is to power 18 kilo uh, watt meter per cube कैविटीज की बबल्स की फॉर्मेशन बेसिकली तब स्टार्ट होगी जब लिक्विड जो है वो लो प्रेशर रीजन में एंटर करेगा और एसोथर्मल एक्सपेंशन की वजह से वो जो कैविटीज हैं वो अपना मैक्सिमम साइज अटेन कर लेंगी एंड इन द सक्सेसिव कंप्रेशन साइकिल एंड इमीडिएट कोलैप्स अकर्स बिकॉज ऑफ द अनस्टेबल साइज विच रिजल्ट इन द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ हाई लोकल टेम्परेचर एंड प्रेशर सो दिस इज द रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ हाइड्रोडाइनामिक कैविटेशन एंड दिस इज द रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ अकॉस्टिक कैविटेशन दीज टू टाइप्स ऑफ कैविटेशन आई विल एक्सप्लेन इन द कमिंग स्लाइड्स Then comes the effect of cavitation on process intensification. First is mechanical and physical effects. The microjet streaming and high intensity local turbulence are mainly responsible for the intensification of physical processes like synthesis of nano emulsion, nano particle formation, microbial disruption, uh, disinfection. Then are the chemical effects. Chemical effects में basically highly reactive free radicals की generation होती है aqueous environment में and they are responsible for the intensification of chemical processes like synthesis of chemicals and degradation of water pollutants etc. Then comes the types of cavitation based on degree of intensity. Cavitation is of two types: transient and stable. Transient cavitation is the cavitation which means cavities and the bubbles and they will expand in their size and they will expand before the violent collapse and they will oscillate more rapidly and this collapse will cause the generation of the uh, intense local temperature and pressure conditions. Then is the stable cavitation. In this, the bubble ka size is very small hoga, and the small bubbles that are present in liquid tend to change in size or shape because of some form of energy input and this energy input. intensity is inadequate to cause total bubble damage in case of stable cavitation so here is a diagrammatic representation in which stable cavitation and transient cavitation is shown here you can see stable cavitation mein cavities ka size smaller hai balki transient cavitation mein inka size uh, bada hai to bade size ki wajah se yahan pe violent collapse hoga that will generate the conditions of high temperature and pressure conditions on basis of mode of generation cavitation is of four types acoustic hydrodynamic optic and particle acoustic cavitation is a cavitation which may pressure variations jo liquid mein ho rahi hoti hain they are because of the sound waves and usually these are the ultrasound sound waves uh, and uh, which ranges from the 16 kilohertz to 100 megahertz and hydrodynamic cavitation mein jo uh, cavities uh, produce ho rahi hoti hain it is because of the passage of liquid through a constriction by rapid change of pressure in liquid which is obtained by using the geometry of system that creates the velocity variation Then is the optic cavitation, which the cavities are produced by the photons of high intensity light that ruptures the liquid continuum. And in particle cavitation, the cavities are produced by the beam of elementary particles. For example, a neutron beam that ruptures the uh, liquid uh, in case of bubble chambers. So uh, these optic and particle cavitation basically used for single bubble cavitation that cannot be scaled up to induce any physical or chemical change in present in the bulk solution. So out of the type of cavitation, including acoustic, hydrodynamic, optical, and particle, only these This uh, acoustic and hydrodynamic cavitation generates desired intensity suitable for uh, chemical and physical processing. Then comes the mechanism for acoustic cavitation. When the ultrasound wave is supplied, then there will be wave formation, and the acoustic cavitation will happen successive for compression as well as rear fraction. Here you can see C is for compression and R is for rear fraction. In this picture, you can see that uh, uh, when ultrasound passes through liquid medium, it causes the mechanical vibration of liquid. And because of this mechanical vibration, uh, which is happening in the liquid, there will be formation of bubbles or cavities inside the liquids. Initial stage, पे जो bubbles बनेंगे, they will be of फाइन साइज यानी कि फाइन बबल्स बनेंगे मीन्स दैट वेरी माइक्रो बबल्स और नैनो बबल्स विल बी फॉर्म बट विद द पैसेज ऑफ टाइम दिस बबल्स विल ग्रो इन साइज एंड एट अ सर्टेन पॉइंट देर विल बी अ टाइम दैट वेन द बबल्स विल बिकम अनस्टेबल इन साइज एंड एज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ दिस अनस्टेबल बबल्स एट सर्टेन फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ प्रेशर एंड टेम्परेचर दिस अनस्टेबल बबल्स विल कोलैप्स टू गिव अस वेरी फाइनर साइज माइक्रो बबल्स 
सो ये जो कलैप्स होगा इट इज बिकॉज ऑफ सर्टेन फ्रीक्वेंसी भी होगा विच इन केस ऑफ फिजिकल अफेयर्स इज वेरी लो फ्रीक्वेंसी विच इज ट्वेंटी टू एटी किलो हर्ट्स बट इन केस ऑफ केमिकल अफेयर्स दीज फ्रीक्वेंसीज विल बी वेरी हायर रेंजिंग फ्रॉम वन फिफ्टी टू टू थाउजेंड किलो हर्ट्स सो ड्यूरिंग दिस अकाउस्टिक कैविटेशन नॉट ओनली द कैविटीज विल बी फॉर्म बट देर विल बी मिक्सिंग ऑफ फ्लूड एलिमेंट्स इन साइड द रिएक्टर सो इन दैट केस दिस अल्ट्रासाउंड जनरेट्स अकाउस्टिक स्ट्रीमिंग विद इन अ लिक्विड एंड दिस अकाउस्टिक स्ट्रीमिंग इज बेसिकली इन अकर्स इन अ स्टडी फ्लो इन अ लिक्विड विच इज ड्राइवन बाय एब्जॉर्बन ऑफ हाई एम्पलीट्यूड अकाउस्टिक ऑसिलेशन so because of this there will be streaming of liquid so that the streaming will give you mixing of fluid elements inside the reactor which will give you better uh, chemical processes this acoustic energy is generated by transmission of ultrasound waves that consist of refraction and compression cycles traveling through the uh, liquid medium in the refraction or you can say the expansion cycle large negative acoustic pressure develop hoga and uh, ye pressure jo hai ye negative acoustic pressure ye intermolecular distances ko badha dega increase kar dega as a result jab ye critical molecular distance ke level ko exceed karega to cavities form hongi but in case of compression cycles positive acoustic acoustic pressures जनरेट होगा एंड दिस पॉजिटिव अकॉस्टिक प्रेशर विल पुश द कैविटीज टू गैदर एंड कंप्रेस दम विच इवेंचुअली लीड्स टू देयर वाइल एंड कलैप्स इस पॉजिटिव अकॉस्टिक प्रेशर की वजह से कैविटीज जो हैं ये एक दूसरे के साथ कंप्रेस होंगी आपस में आएंगी और ये उनको कोलैप्स कर देगा वाइल एंड कोलैप्स कॉज करेगा सो दैट इज वाई देर विल बी द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ माइनर बबल्स ड्यूरिंग द अकॉस्टिक प्रेशर पुश एंड ड्यूरिंग दिस वाइल एंड कोलैप्स देर विल बी द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ कैविटीज for fine size or bubbles so uh, this final collapse phase is adiabatic in nature and uh, as a result of this collapse locally uh, uh, it locally produces high temperature and high pressure conditions so this is the way how actually the acoustic cavitation is happening so if the liquid medium contains dissolved gas nuclei which is the case under normal condition they will grow and collapse by the action of ultrasound here it is shown that how intensity is changing with respect to time and how the bubbles are forming with respect to time so unlike the in a single uh, cavity system the growth in multi cavity system is because of rectified diffusion rectified diffusion basically is a process in which the bubbles under a caustic excitations grow or dissolve due to mass transfer into or out of the bubble so this rectification of mass is direct consequence of applied sound field with the presence of applied sound field the bubble radius is forced to oscillate about an equilibrium value and these oscillations can prevent the eventual dissolution of bubble and even cause it to grow because of the uh, area effect and shell effect Now what is the area effect? एरिया फैक्ट बेसिकली ये होता है कि जब बबल कॉन्ट्रैक्ट करते हैं तो इसके अंदर जो कंसेंट्रेशन ऑफ गैस है वो बढ़ जाती है और गैस जो है वो बबल से बाहर की तरफ डिफ्यूज करती है और जब बबल एक्सपैंड करते हैं तो गैस की कंसेंट्रेशन कम हो जाती है और गैस है वो बबल के इन साइड डिफ्यूज करती है सो दिस डिफ्यूडेड इज प्रोपोर्शनल टू द एरिया एंड मोर गैस विल एंटर ड्यूरिंग द एक्सपेंशन देन लिविंग ड्यूरिंग द कंट्रेक्शन ऑफ बबल्स देर फॉर ओवर अ कम्प्लीट साइकिल देर विल बी अट इंक्रीज इन द अमाउंट ऑफ गैस इन द बबल देन कम्स इज शेल अफेक्ट शेल अफेक्ट बेसिकली इसमें जो गैस का डिफरेंट रेट है लिक्विड में वो प्रपोर्शन होता है कंसेंट्रेशन ऑफ डिजोल्व गैस के सो इफ वी कंसिडर स्पेरिकल शेल ऑफ लिक्विड डेट सराउंड द बबल तो जब बबल कॉन्ट्रैक्ट करेगा तो शेल एक्सपैंड करेगा और जो गैस की कंसेंट्रेशन है नियर दी बबल वॉल वो रिड्यूस कर जाएगी और जो रेट ऑफ डिफरेंट ऑफ गैस है अवे फ्रॉम बबल इट विल बी ग्रेटर दैन दी वैन बबल इज एट इट्स इक्वलीबियम रेडियस सो वैन बबल एक्सपैंड द शेल कॉन्ट्रैक्ट और जो गैस की कंसेंट्रेशन नियर बबल इज इट विल इंक्रीज एंड द रेट of gas diffusion towards the bubble it will be greater than that of average this net effect of variation is to enhance the rectified diffusion कास्टिक कैविटेशन की बहुत सारी एप्लीकेशन है लाइक अल्ट्रासाउंड एनहेंस्ड ऑयल रिकवरी ऑयल्स एंड एक्सट्रैक्शन अपग्रेडिंग ऑफ हैवी क्रूड ऑयल एंड डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ कंपोजिशन ऑफ कोल टॉर्स लाइक एक्सट्रैक्शन ऑफ कोल टॉर्स सॉलिड लिक्विड एक्सट्रैक्शन स्पेशलाइजेशन ऑपरेशन के लिए डेट कंट्रोल द क्रिस्टल साइज डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन एंड ऑल्सो रिड्यूस द टोटल ऑपरेशन टाइम Now, what is hydrodynamic cavitation? Basically, it is an energy-efficient way of producing the cavitation. Uh, hydrodynamic cavitation में basically जो uh, cavitations है cavities हैं वो generate तब होती हैं जब जो liquid है वो मूव uh, करता है uh, एक कंस्ट्रक्शन से विच इज थॉटलिंग वॉल और इफ इज प्लेट और वेंचूरी सो दिस कैविटेशन इज प्रोड्यूस्ड बाई द इफेक्टिंग प्रेशर वेरिएशन इन अ फ्लूड 
फ्लूड बाय अलाउंग दी फ्लूड टू पास थ्रू अ कंस्ट्रक्शन इन अ पाइप सो जो प्रेशर जो वेरिएशन हो रही होती है वो उस कंस्ट्रक्शन चैनल की वजह से हो रही होती है और वो चैनल जो है वो वेंटरी और इफ इस और थ्रोटनिंग वॉल्स वगैरह हैं और इसमें में क्या होता है कि डिफरेंट ज्योमेट्रीज होती हैं जो कि लीड करती हैं कैविटीज की फॉर्मेशन को so here in this image you can clearly see that there is a throttling wall uh, shown here in this picture so through that throttling wall how that liquid flow is getting obstruction during uh, that flow and there will be uh, a change in the pressure between this upstream and downstream uh, and there will be the formation of cavities during the pr uh, pressure difference so in this way we can say that there is uh, the formation of cavities by uh, by the passage of liquid through a constriction uh, like like this uh, throttling valve shown here in this image so a very careful design hona um, chahiye you have to be very careful during uh, the design of system uh, like a careful design of system allows the generation of cavity collapse condition which are similar to acoustic cavitation but here the uh, uh, energy inputs would be very much uh, low as compared to that of the uh, sonochemical uh, reactors then what is bernoulli's principle bernoulli's principle basically ye hydrodynamic cavitation ko describe karta hai aur ye is principle ki equation yahan pe show ki gayi hai in this case you can see that the uh, static and dynamic pressure are constant based on this bernoulli's principle and the dynamic pressure will be equal to half of the uh, rho v square here this uh, p static and p dynamic are the static and dynamic pressures where this rho and v are the density and velocity of liquid at the throat of the uh, cavity cavitating device so when the fluid passes through cavitating device jo fluid velocity hai jab ye fluid pass karega cavitating device se to um, fluid velocity increase karegi aur flow area jo hai wo kam ho jayega and there will be increase in the dynamic pressure so that is why you have to make the geometry where that you can uh, reduce the flow area and due to this flow area there will be a change of the pressure so whenever the velocity will increase due to this reduction of you know the flow area then there will be increase of dynamic pressure then uh, uh, the sum of the dynamic and static pressure is constant according to this uh, bernoulli's equation there will be increase in dynamic pressure uh, which subsequently causes the reduction of the static pressure so in that case agar static pressure jo hai wo kam hoga fall karega to cavitation threshold jo hai solvent ki uski wajah se bahut sari cavities banna shuru ho jayengi by uh, this fall of the static pressure so if static pressure falls below the cavitation threshold of the solvent so many cavity formations are resulted recovery of the static pressure in the downstream section of the cavitating device cause violent collapse of these cavities results in the formation of localized hot spots and highly reactive uh, hydroxyl and hydrogen radicals uh, will be formed during the uh, violent collapse of this uh, cavity सो so, इस सारी स्लाइड में ये बताया गया है कि हाइड्रोडाइनमिक कैविटेशन जो है ये ये वाला प्रोसेस तब कैरी आउट होगा जब डायनामिक प्रेशर जो है वो चेंज होगा और इंक्रीज होगी लिक्विड की वेलोसिटी और जो फ्लो होगा वो कम हो जाएगा सो इन दैट केस देर विल बी सडन फॉल ऑन द स्टैटिक प्रेशर क्योंकि समेशन ऑफ बोथ प्रेशर्स बोथ स्टैटिक एंड डायनामिक प्रेशर विल बी कॉन्स्टेंट डैट्स वाई हाइड्रो डायनामिक प्रेशर जो है वो इंक्रीज करेगा एंड ऑफकोर्स स्टैटिक प्रेशर विल डिक्रीज एंड ड्यूरिंग दिस डिक्रीज और फॉल ऑफ स्टैटिक प्रेशर वायलेंट कोलैप्स होगा कैविटीज का और वो जो वायलेंट कोलैप्स हो रहा है कैविटीज का वो कॉज करेगा फॉर्मेशन ऑफ द हाइड्रोक्सियल और हाइड्रोजन रेडिकल्स जो के यूजफुल होते हैं केमिकल रिएक्शंस में लाइक ओजोनेशन प्रोसेस सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द हाइड्रोनॉमिक प्रोसीजर व्हिच इज एक्सप्लेन बाय बर्नॉलिस प्रिंसिपल हाइड्रोनॉमिक कैविटेशन की बहुत सारी एप्लीकेशन है लाइक ये रिएक्शन टाइम की रिडक्शन करता है ये रिएक्शन की यूल्ड को बढ़ाता है ये इंडक्शन टाइम ऑफ द डिजायर रिएक्शन को भी कम करता है इसके अलावा ये कैटलिस्ट की इफेक्टिवनेस को बढ़ाता है जो कि रिएक्शन के लिए यूज होते हैं इट इज ऑल्सो यूज टू इनिशिएट द केमिकल रिएक्शन ड्यू टू द जनरेशन ऑफ हाई रिएक्टिव रेडिकल्स इट इज ऑल्सो यूज फॉर वाटर एंड एफ्यून ट्रीटमेंट then comes the reactor designs there are two type of reactors and it includes sono chemical cavitational reactors and hydrodynamic cavitational reactors sono chemical reactors basically ye wo reactors hote hain jisme jo cavitation hai ya jo formation of cavities hai ye ultrasound ki wajah se hoti hain aur hydrodynamic cavitation reactors mein jo cavities ki formation ho rahi hoti hai it is because of the uh, means of the uh, fluid energy 
so these are the two types of the reactor design Sonochemical cavitation reactors based on the principle of generation of cavitation events using ultrasonic irradiation it can be efficiently applied for intensification of different chemical and physical processes like uh, uh, these applications includes chemical synthesis water treatment extraction cell disruption leaching Ultrasonic horn it is the most common reactor design among sonochemical reactors jisme cavitational effects horn ke close bahut zyada hote hain which is the vibrating surface aur ye jo intensity hai cavitational ye decrease ho jati hai on moving away from horn and it vanishes at a distance as low as 2 to 5 cm this ultrasonic horn suffer from erosion and particle shedding at delivery tip surface which owe to high surface energy intensity and these horns are used for laboratory scale investigation in order to obtain scale up and to design uh, parameters like relationship between the required cavitation intensity and strength of cell wall of microorganism to be disrupted this is the setup of the ultrasonic horn in which uh, uh, ultrasonic horn is attached over a workpiece and this is ultrasonic transducer which is connected to the ultrasonic generator another configuration is called the hexagonal bath systems so these reactors are simply conventional type of mixed reactor which can be operated in batch or continuous mode multiple transducers ka use bahut zyada effective hota hai because it results in low operating intensity at similar levels of power dissipation or uh, ye multiple transducers also cause high cavitational intensity isse cavitational volume jo hai ye zyada cause karta hai so um, um, दिस मल्टीपल ट्रांसड्यूसर्स विद लो आउटपुट ट्रांसप्यूटर्स ये जो है इनका एक एडवांटेज ये है कि ये डिलीवरी सर्फिस पर डिफरेंट प्रॉब्लम्स कॉज होती हैं लाइक कैविटेशन ब्लॉकिंग इरोन पार्टिकल शेडिंग ये इन प्रॉब्लम्स को रिड्यूस करता है सो द यूज ऑफ लो आउटपुट ट्रांसड्यूसर्स गिव एडिशनल एडवांटेज ऑफ एवॉइडिंग द फिनोमिन ऑफ कैविटेशन ब्लॉकिंग विच इज बिकॉज ऑफ अकास्टिक डी कपलिंग एंड सर्फिस इरोन विच अराइज वेन दी पावर डेंसिटी इज क्लोज टू द डिलीवरी पॉइंट आर वेरी हाई सो इन एडिशन दिस मल्टीपल ट्रांसड्यूसर this also has an other use that it effectively concentrate the ultrasonic intensity toward the central axis of cylinder and also away from the vessel walls uh, as thereby reducing the problems of uh, uh, the contamination which i have told that is because of the erosion and the uh, wall erosion and particle shedding so here in this image you can see that uh, uh, it is a, a design of hexagonal bath system and uh, this design is very similar to that of the ultrasonic bath the difference is that, that that uh, outer hull of the reactor is hexagonal in shape and it is fitted with uh, multiple transducers as you can see that there are six transducers and these uh, uh, transducers are uh, attached or mounted in the center of each side as uh, shown here in this uh, uh, figure and this hexagonal shape it is used to facilitate the attachment of multiple transducers the supply uh, of the sound waves and the uh, formation of cavities it is well distributed here. here inside the reactor so this uh, uh, also provides indirect sonication to the reaction vessel uh, and here you can see that a steering shaft is attached uh, where the uh, ultrasonic intensity uh, jo hai wo very effective hogi uh, also it is also effective uh, away from the vessel walls so uh, that is why this type of reactor it is useful for better attachment of multiple transducers in order to uh, keep better reaction performance then come the hydrodynamic cavitation reactor isme basically hydrodynamic cavitation mein cavities kaise generate hoti hain jab liquid a constriction mein se move karta hai aur wo constriction orifice plate ho sakti hai venturi ho sakti hai throttling valve ho sakti hai aur jab liquid is constriction mein se move karega to kinetic velocity aur energy jo hai na liquid ki wo suddenly increase karegi aur pressure jo hai wo drop kar jayega aur jab pressure drop karega to cavities generate hongi so during this passage of liquid through constriction the boundary layer separation occurs and substantial amount of energy is lost in the form of permanent pressure drop very high intensity fluid turbulence is also generated downstream of cavitation and it intensity depends on the magnitude of pressure drop geometry of constriction and flow liquid condition uh, which is the scale of turbulence then is the liquid vessel based cavitation reactor in which the cavities will form in the liquid by forcing the liquid across a vibrating blade and this reactor is suitable for mixing and homogenization as you can see here in this diagram this is a vibrating blade and uh, the vibrations uh, uh, will start the formations of the cavities when the liquid pass over it with high velocity so this liquid couple itself with vibrations to produce cavitation in the flow that results in highly efficient mixing but this uh, reactor has main disadvantage that they do not offer flexibility in terms of selecting different 
and operating geometries in order to control the gravitational intensity. Then is the high pressure homogenizer. This reactor contains a feed tank and two throttling walls that are labeled as stage 1 and stage 2 that controls the operating pressure in hydrodynamic cavitation reactors. Cavitation process will start at critical discharge pressure and the value of the discharge pressure will lead to the desired cavitational effect and it is also dependent on the type of application and geometry of throttling walls. This high pressure homogenizer is suitable for emulsification process in food and pharmaceuticals and bioprocessing industries. Then is the high speed homogenizer which is basically a rotating equipment when the time speed of the rotating device or impeller reaches the critical speed then the local pressure near the periphery of impeller falls and it becomes closer to the vapor pressure of liquid and when this happens then the cavity formation will start. The critical speed for the inception or initiation of cavitation is 8500 revolution per minute and this high speed homogenizer has a disadvantage that uh, high energy consumption will occur. Next is orifice plate setup. In this, the main line flow passes through. It is suddenly a constriction add enter. And in this constriction, the flow area is reduced. And as a result, velocity will increase. And that increased velocity will lead to decreased pressure. And that pressure will may go uh, even below the vapor pressure of liquid medium. As a result, cavities will start forming. And this is the orifice plate hydrodynamic cavitation setup in which uh, this is the centrifugal pump and this is the main bypass line. These are the control valves and this is the pressure gauges on which the orifice plate is also attached here and this is the tank. So uh, orifice plates may jo constriction hai, it can be a venturi but it can also be a orifice plate having multiple holes or single holes. So multiple hole orifice plates have different combination and numbers of diameters that way the free area offered for the flow as you can see here these are the multiple hole orifice plates these are six plates and the number of holes and the diameter of holes are different in every plate. Uh, so uh, such an arrangement helps in achieving the different intensity of cavitation and also the number of cavitational events generated in this reactor is also different. Cavitation process ko different factors affect karte and these include reaction temperature, hydrostatic pressure, irradiation frequency, acoustic power, ultrasonic intensity, presence and nature of dissolved gases, choice of solvent, sample preparation, choice of buffer, all of these factors affect the phenomena of cavitation. Then comes the applications of cavitations. Cavitations ki bohat zada advantages hoti hain, bohat zada applications hain ki bohat saare processes mein ye phenomena use hota hai and uh, uh, microbial cell disruption is one of that uh, phenomena. Uh, for large scale, uh, uh, for efficient large scale, uh, the disruption process, uh, this cavitation is uh, considered as a key factor for the economical production of uh, you can say the important industrially important microbial components. So this uh, cavitation is used for large scale disruption of microorganisms, the mechanical disintegrators like the high speed uh, agitator bead mills and uh, the high pressure homogenizers are commonly employed for this purpose. Here in this image you can see a bead mill is shown here. This bead mills basically uh, they contain the grinding chambers uh, with, uh, with a rotating shaft that is running at its center or jitni zyada beads hongi jitni zyada inki quantity hogi utna hi cell disruption ka jo process hai jo disruption ka jo rate hai wo zyada hoga because there is um, bead to bead interaction in case of this uh, bead mills then is the high pressure homogenizer is shown here or is high pressure homogenizer mein jo suspension ho rahi hai cells ki it is uh, through a wall yani ke jitna zyada operating pressure hoga utni hi efficient disruption hogi so uh, the energy efficiency of the above methods that includes the bead mills and the high pressure homogenizers are in the range of uh, 5 to 10% and the remaining energy is dissipated in the form of heat. So the cavitation process beneficiates the release of significant amount of enzymes or proteins. Yani ke jo operating parameters hoti hain, wo cavitational intensity ko affect karti hain. Aur is tarah ye equally affect karti hain intensification jo ke observe hoti hai in, in the release of enzymes. So the extent of the cell disruption usually increase with an increase in the time of treatment and the number of passes through the cavitation chamber. Cells ki jitni zada concentration hogi suspension ki andar aur jitni zada unki growth stages hongi cell ki it influence the disruption process significantly. So this cavitation phenomena generates the condition of high pressure and temperature. Iske ilawa ye free radicals ko bhi generate karta hai and the activity of the released enzyme from the cells will remain unaltered. So this can be contributed to the fact that agar jo intense conditions ho rahi hain to ye intense conditions sirf small intervals ke liye honge yani ke 
ओनली फॉर यू कैन से माइक्रो सेकेंड्स के लिए ये इंटेंस कंडीशन होंगी एंड दे डू नॉट रिजल्ट इन इन एनी डी एक्टिवेशन ऑफ द रिलीज इंजाइम्स then comes the microbial disinfection over the years the disinfection of microorganism in water has been achieved by various physical and chemical means and these means have major disadvantage that mutagenic and carcinogenic agents form severe mass transfer limitations occur that results in high treatment time also it produce colonies and spores that agglomerate in large clusters chemical treatment of such clusters may destroy the microorganism on surface and leave the innermost organism intact so there is a need for developing an alternate technique for water disinfection cavitation due to spectacular effects in term of generation of hot spot highly reactive free radicals and turbulence associated with liquid circulation offer potential as an effective tool for water disinfection then comes the exact mechanism by which the cavitation results in the active inactivation of the microorganisms jo water disinfection cause karti hai and these uh, uh, mechanism is the uh, combination of following effects and these effects includes the mechanical effects chemical effects heat effects or when they are used in combination with the chemical treatment mechanical effects include uh, the formation of turbulence liquid circulation current and the shear stresses the shear stresses basically ye jab bubble ko लैब्स होता है तब जनरेट होती हैं और ये कार्बन कार्बन बॉन्ड को जो ब्रेक डाउन कर देती हैं और ये मैक्रो ऑर्गेनिक मॉलिक्यूल्स को लो मॉलिक्यूल ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड्स में डीकम्पोज करने के लिए ये शेयर स्ट्रेसिस रिड्यूस होती हैं विच इज बिकॉज ऑफ द मैकेनिकल इफेक्ट ऑफ कैविटेशन देन कम्स द केमिकल इफेक्ट ऑफ कैविटेशन एंड इट इंक्लूड्स द एक्टिव फॉर्मेशन ऑफ द फ्री रेडिकल्स एक्चुअली बबल के अंदर वाटर मॉलिक्यूल जो ट्रैप होते हैं वो फ्री रेडिकल्स में डिकम्पोज हो जाते हैं इन दिस केस और ये फ्री रेडिकल्स जो हैं ये ऑक्सीडेशन रिएक्शन में पार्टिसिपेट करती हैं विच टेक्स प्लेस इन द गैस लिक्विड इंटरफेस और इन द बल्क लिक्विड ऑल्सो नेक्स्ट इफेक्ट इज दीट इफेक्ट एंड इस हीट इफेक्ट विल कॉज द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ लोकल हॉट स्पोर्ट्स और जब लोकल हॉट स्पोर्ट जनरेट होंगे तो देर विल बी द कंडीशन ऑफ वेरी हाई टेम्परेचर एंड प्रेशर next is when it is used in combination with the chemical treatment which includes chlorine h2o2 and o3 this uh, intense pressure gradient improve the penetration of uh, oxidizing chemicals to the microbial cell membrane cavitation basically a facilitate karta hai deagglomeration of microorganism clusters ko solutions ke andar ye solutions mein jo microorganism ke deagglomeration karata hai uske sath sath ye uh, jo chemical disinfectants hai na unki efficiency ko unki reaction की एफिशिएंसी को इंक्रीज कराता है सो ऑल ऑफ दीज आर द इफेक्ट्स ऑफ द कैविटेशन दैट इज यूज्ड फॉर इन एक्टिवेट द माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म दैट कॉज दैट कॉज द वाटर डिसइंफेक्शंस next is ultrasonic cavitation which is also an example of this uh, cavitation process ultrasonic cavitation basically ye ek weight loss fitness technique hoti hai jo ki sound waves ki low frequency ko use karti hai aur body mein se jo extra fat hai na usko eliminate karti hai without any serious surgical procedure so this ultrasonic cavitation is based on low frequency waves which form the gas bubbles small gas bubbles known as cavitational bubbles contributing to the reduction of fat from the cell membranes at the end the fat is absorbed by lymph and drained out through the lymphatic system basically ye ek non invasive मैकेनिज्म होता है जो कि हमारी बॉडी के पर्टिकुलर एरियाज को टारगेट करता है ये प्रोसीजर जो है उस जो हीट प्रोवाइड करता है और फैट सेल्स की जो लेयर है उसको वाइब्रेशन देता है विच इज बिलो दी स्किन सरफेस स्किन की सरफेस के नीचे जो फैट्स की जो लेयर है ना ये उनको वाइब्रेट करता है और हीट प्रोवाइड करता है एज अ रिजल्ट जो फैट सेल्स हैं वो लिक्विफाई होना स्टार्ट हो जाती हैं और जो उनका कंटेंट है ना वो ब्लड स्ट्रीम में रिलीज होना स्टार्ट हो जाता है सो दिस अल्ट्रासोनिक अल्ट्रासाउंड वेव्स इंक्रीज द काइनेटिक एनर्जी ऑफ मॉलिक्यूलर मोशन दस रिजल्टिंग इनटू हीट देयर फॉर व्हेन द हीट सेल्स इंड्यूस बाय द अल्ट्रासोनिक मींस इट एक्सीड्स एक्सीड्स दैट नॉर्मल टू द बॉडी लॉस ऑफ द सेल फंक्शन अकर्स एंड द न्यूट्रिशन ऑफ प्रोटीन्स अकर्स एंड ये जो कैविटेशन प्रोसेस है इट इज इंड्यूस बाय 40 किलो हर्ट्ज फ्रीक्वेंसी of sound which drives the adipocytes in order to break the fat cells so here in this image you can see that is ultrasonic cavitation is performing here here in the first step the bubbles are generating here uh, it is the uh, surface of the skin under the skin there is increased number and size of bubbles then second step mein jo micro bubbles hain inki bursting ho rahi hai like uh, jo micro bubbles hain inki 
کی جو برسنگ ہو رہی ہے جو ایز اے ریزلٹ ہیوج اماؤنٹ آف انرجی از جنریٹنگ وچ از ریکوائرڈ ٹو بریک دی فیٹ سیلس فیٹ سیلس کی سیل وال کو یہ انرجی بریک کرتی ہے دین ان دا تھرڈ اسٹیپ دی لیکوفائی فیٹس اینڈ ایمولسیفائی فیٹس دس پروسیس از ان دس پروسیس واٹ ہیپنز بیسیکلی جو کمپلیکس فیٹی ایسڈز ہیں نا وہ بریک ڈاؤن ہو جاتی ہیں سمپلر فیٹی ایسڈز میں سو دس الٹرا سونک کیویٹیشن ڈز ورٹ دی ان دس پروسیس دی الٹرا سونک بریک فیٹ سیلس اینڈ ریلیز ٹرائک ڈس رائٹس جو کہ دین کلیکٹ کرتی ہیں لمفیٹک اینڈ سرکولیٹری سسٹمس اور بہت زیادہ جو ان کے فیٹ سیلس جو ہوتے ہیں یہ ایلیمنیٹ ہو جاتے ہیں بائی کڈنی اینڈ بیکم لیکو پروٹین ان دا لیور Then are the advantages of cavitation. It is used in ultrasonic cleaning bath and which it has sufficient force to overcome the adhesive force between the molecules of impurity and clean surface. Uh, control cavitation phenomena is used to enhance the chemical reaction. It is used to homogenize and mix the suspended particles in colloidal liquids. It is also used in wastewater treatment in which the extreme cavitation is used to break the pollutants and organic molecules. It is also used in the field of material processing and technologies and medicine. Uh, it is also used in shock wave lipotripsy. Um, in which the uh, kidney stones are destroyed and it is also used in medical treatments like liposuction uh, in which the ultrasound uh, waves are used to uh, reduce the body fat without any surgical uh, procedure so it is a useful process in biotechnology it is produced by using ultrasound and hydrodynamic cavitation reactors for cell disruption water disinfection applications hydrodynamic cavitational reactors uh, over high energy efficiency as compared to the ultrasound produced cavitation so we can say that these cavitational reactors offer a substantial promise for intensification of a variety of chemical and physical processing applications in specific area of biotechnology these are the references thank you